Rashida Strober is the only person in the world to focus exclusively on dark skin and has been doing so since 1998, as demonstrated by a 20 year body of work. Meet the founder and inventor of the first movement in history for dark skin, Rashida Strober, the world's first dark skin activist, founder of dark skin activism. All right, so I am here with Rashida Strober, finally getting a chance to meet her finally. face to face. Yeah. We have, she's been on my show twice. Yep. Me and Unique. Yep. Unique should be logging on soon. And, you know, there were a few people that didn't get a chance to hear the interview, which they can log on and see. Who is that? See, I can't even see. Because I'm so what Heather, Heather Shack. Okay, so let me just say something about Heather really quickly. Mm -hmm. Heather enjoyed you so much the first time that you were on the show. She was actually one of the ones that was like, no, she has to come back. And thank you, Heather. And so I don't know, Heather, if you have a question, but we don't have a lot, a lot of time. Um, but if you don't have a question that you want to pose, I just want to start off with a question that I've asked Rashida a million times before, which is what inspired her to do um, a dark skin woman's revenge. So in case y'all didn't hear the answer on my show, she can answer now. Yeah, um, just my life experiences of wanting to tell my truth. That's really wanting to tell my truth. In 1998, Rashida Strober created Dark Skin Activism, the first movement in history to advocate for dark skin people and called herself the Dark Skin Activist. Rashida created the phrases Dark Skin Activist and Dark Skin Activism. Rashida also coined the word darkism. She is the first person in recorded history to create a movement of this kind based on dark skin. She's the first artist, author, actress, YouTuber, and social commentator to focus her work only on dark skin and has been doing so since 1998. She's written more books on dark skin than anyone in the world. Her books can be found at darkskinactivist.com. Rashida has been touring the country since 2006, giving darkism lectures and performances of her play. The books include A Dark Skin Girl's Triumph, The Rashida Strober Story, Darkism, How to Be the Hottest Dark Skin Chick on the Planet, A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge, Token Dark Girl, the It Dark Girl of the moment. The 20 year legacy of the dark skin activist continues. For more information on Rashida's 20 plus years of original dark skin, groundbreaking, architectural dark skin activist work, go to darkskinactivist.com. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. And most importantly, make sure that you take the online Understanding Darkism course. All right, good morning, y'all. This is going to be a quick one. It is the world's first and only dark skin activist, Rashida Strober, the creator, the inventor, the architect, the designer of the first platform in history for dark skin, the first movement in history for dark skin, the first person in the world to bring dark skin issues to the internet, to YouTube, to social media. And because people are taking and plagiarizing and stealing from me, I'm gonna keep fighting and honing in on leaving a legacy of the true history so that people can differentiate the liars, the plagiarizers, the frauds and the fakes that social media has created who have ripped off and stolen the work of Rashida Strober, myself, the only world's first dark skin activist creator of the entire dark skin lane, initiator and creator of the entire discussion online of dark skin, of darkism, of colorism that spurred everybody else to speak on it. But dishonest people, unscrupulous people, fraudulent pre people continue to steal and take from me. And this is the reason why, this is the main reason why, in addition to wanting people to have an in-depth understanding of darkism and what darkism is and what dark darkism is not. Um, give me a second here because I had to I had to go and pause the video where I'm actually talking. I have two screens open here, but the purpose is so that people can understand that Rashida Strober is the true creator 
of the entire dark skin platform, dark skin lane, dark skin movement. There is no one else. Before me, there was never a movement for dark skin, never. So the way that we help people to understand the truth of history, we do that in a multiplicity of ways. And one of the main ways that I've done it is of course through the written word, but now I have created the first online darkism course that is also in and of itself a colorism course. And because I'm honest, I am going to go in debt. I'm not one of the black women and I'm gonna say this from the outset because I want to differentiate myself from people that are liars. There are a lot of black women since 2015, since I became known as the dark skin activist who have unscrupulously and fraudulently began talking about colorism when they never cared about it, when they never did it before social media existed and they didn't do it before I did. And so in honor of integrity and in honor of honesty, I have created this course called Understanding Darkism, which also, because I cannot speak, understand this clearly, because I'm an honest, ethical person. The others are not. That's just the facts. Whether you like me, you're going to respect me. And the reason why you're going to respect it is because, again, it's all about honesty and ethics. I cannot talk about this concept that I created called darkism without speaking about colorism. And I cannot, as a black woman, take, steal, manipulate, fraudulate from Alice Walker who is actually the originator of the word she coined, she created the word colorism. She gave it definition. So because I'm honest, I have made sure in my course, when you take my course, you are going to get, and this is the first time this has been done. Now people mock me and watch me and copy me all the time. I wouldn't be surprised because I'm the leader because I'm the architect, if people come behind me and finally decide to say, I'm gonna be honest. But I want everybody to know that I'm the first black woman and the first woman to actually give Alice Walker her credit in terms of online, speaking about it online, social media, YouTube. I am the first black woman to do so because it's only right and it's only ethical. I will not be a part of the legions of people on social media who are ripping off and stealing from other black people. I will not perpetuate that. I will fight against it. And one of the chief ways that I'm fighting against it is through my course called Understanding Darkism. Understanding Darkism is a comprehensive course that I have created so that people can begin to understand in depth what darkism is and its impact, not just in America, but its impact globally. So you're going to get the history, giving you a little bit of my background, and I'm not, I'm not gonna be on here long, but just to give, cause some people they feel like they need credentials and that's okay. I'm okay with that because let me tell you something, I'm of, I'm the type of person that I believe I can learn from anybody as long as they're honest. I can't learn from a dishonest person except for how to be a liar and dishonest. But regarding a person's credentials, degrees and all this kind of stuff, I don't really look at that so much as I look at integrity and honesty. But let me give you my academic background. I have a bachelor's degree in history. And that's one of the reasons why laying down the history of a phenomenon is important because it'll get lost and lie, liars, unscrupulous, dishonest, fraudulent people that abound on YouTube. And I'm different. I'm separating myself out from the pack because that's not who the dark skin activist is. I've never came across that way. And I've never talked about colorism. I talk about darkism, but it's only right that I give the history. I have a master's degree in political science and I have years of experience teaching at the academic level um, kindergarten all the way up to the college level. And I have years of experience lecturing in the community, again, differentiating me from frauds on YouTube. I have actually been teaching and lecturing on darkism since 1998. That's way before YouTube, before anybody did it. The only other person I always give respect and homage to, cause she's the only one that's actually worthy is Cola Booth. That's it. Nobody else. 
So in this course, Understanding Darkism, you are going to get the truth. You are going to get the truth about where colorism originated, who started it, how it started. You're going to get the historical foundation regarding colorism. So on April 23rd, which is next Tuesday, and that's going to take place at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can go ahead and register for my Understanding Online Darkism course. And I would like for everybody to understand that the required reading for the course is the book Darkism, 25 Ways Dark Skin People Are Discriminated Against. So you're going to have to, number one, register for the course. Number two, purchase the book. Now, there's several ways that you can get this book. Number one, you can, if you purchase it from me, the book is $40. Okay. And you're going to have to purchase it fast because Tuesday is fast approaching. But at this point, if you, I'll give you another way to get it, to get it to you quicker. If you want to get the ebook version, because I do have the ebook version, any um, donation or gift below $25, if it's $25 and below, I will send you an electronic copy of the book Darkism. Because if you purchase the hardcover, it probably won't get to you in time. So shout out to the people that have taken the initiative to purchase the hardcover book in advance to make sure they have, have the book ready to take the course. So at this stage in the game, since the course is coming up on April 23rd, which is next Tuesday, you probably need to get the electronic version of the book. So any donation in the amount of $25 or below I will send you the electronic version of my book, Darkism. Now, how can you do that? You can do it in two ways. You can go to my GoFundMe and give $25 or below, or you can go to my PayPal email and give $25 or below. Now, I have included my PayPal email and my GoFundMe link in the chat box, and it's also in the description box to this video. So it's easy for you to access um, either method of, of, um, of payment the GoFundMe or the PayPal. But it is very important, this is required to take the course. So you must have darkism, 25 ways dark skinned people are discriminated against. Um, also, I would like to ask you, the people that support the work that I do, I know it's early in the morning. I get up early in the morning and I'm always working behind the scenes on a multiplicity of projects um, regarding dark skin activism. A lot of you know that I'm also a artist an actress, a playwright, a lecturer. Um, I've given tons of shows, my dark skin shows, uh, namely A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge, which is my play that I wrote back in 2006. And I like to put the dates because I'm letting people know that people have plagiarized my work. They cannot give dates that precede the work that I've done on YouTube. They can't do that. They've studied my material. They've watched my videos. They've read my books and I get, I've given away my work freely to the community and online. And the thanks that I've gotten is other black women. Yes. And I'm going to say it. Other black women who have plagiarized, ripped off and stolen from the work of the world's first dark skin activist. But I'm going to fight it. There's a, as you can see, there's a multiplicity of ways to continue to fight. And it's a war. And as I said before, the dark skin activists will win the war. And people are going to see that. You're already starting to see that. So I want to say thank you to my supporters. I want to ask you to make sure you, you go ahead and register for the course, get the book, share this information, because everybody needs to know the truth about darkism and where colorism came from. It did not start on YouTube with unscrupulous people, black women. A lot of them are black women who have stolen from other black women. It didn't start that way. So the dark skin activist is here to do what she does best tell the truth about darkism because other black women plagiarizing whipping off copying other black women that's darkism and i'm here to tell the truth about it so on april 23rd at 7 p.m eastern standard time anyone anywhere in the world can register from the comfort of your own home to take my course my online course understanding darkism so that you can get the real truth about what darkism is and what colorism is and who actually came up with the idea, the concept, the paradigm. So what I'm going to do right now is I want to show you guys, this is the 
darkism um page homepage where i would like for you to go and register for the course once again i have dropped the information to the in terms of the link i'm going to do it again to where you can register for the course and i'm going to go ahead and throw it in there and i want to say thank you to everyone for waking up early this morning and uh checking me out <laughs> i am very appreciative of that i'm always up early in the morning and something just told me to do a live to come to the people and talk about this because i was i was actually working on the course I'm, I'm always tweaking and trying to make things better it's very important so i want to say shout out to everybody that's up this morning that's watching good morning to kefra sh um kefra that's a good question I'm, I, and i gotta get out of here because i gotta take my daughter to school but real quick i'm gonna answer some of y'all questions you said where have you taught these courses when you first started is it neat that you were the only one professionally campaigning for this okay let me answer your first question since 1998 i have been giving what i call darkism lectures under dark skin activism so technically the first place and i'm again i want to stress this this is important it's historical because i don't want people to get confused in the array of people that are plagiarists and that are liars I started dark skin activism in 1998 at St. Petersburg College and dark skin activism is the very first platform to ever deal with the issues of dark skin discrimination and colorism. No one else before me can say that they've done that. So what happened was in 2009, I brought dark skin activism online. It started to gain traction in 2014 and it blew up in 2015. People said I was crazy. Then they turned around black women and created channels and derivatives of my work after 2015. So if you look at whoever's speaking about colorism right now, if you look at their work, it all came after 2014 and 2015. And that is after I actually started the platform online. And if you go further back into in 1998, I created dark skin activism. So because people are dishonest, I am going to continue to create courses, coursework, um, books, whatever platform, whatever um, entity that I can create so that people understand the real truth, the real truth of what darkism is, what colorism is, and where it came from. So I know that that was a long-winded answer to your question, but since 1998, I have been giving lectures on darkism and speaking on dark skin in all types of places, libraries, churches, universities. I've been all over the place. I am the first person to do this work. It is not other black women. And again, I don't say that out of arrogance. I say it because it's the truth. And black women need to be honest. Black women online need to be honest. Black women on TV need to be honest. They're dishonest. They're disingenuous, plain and simple. So um, let's see who else we got on here. I want to say shout out to Joseph Andrews. Um, Let's see, they flag LA, thank you. <laughs> Tobacco Row, you said you still owe your $70, $70 internet bill, I understand. Um, who else we got? Let's see who else we got on here this morning. Cause I appreciate y'all getting up early in the morning watching, cause I know this is early. This is, I never, I don't like really do early morning videos, but again, the spirit hit me to come on here and make this video. So I want to appreciate y'all and thank y'all for taking y'all time to come on here and um, watch. I'm going to leave this live up so people that um, get up later on, you'll be able to catch this live. And what uh, you said, I'm trying to read some of y'all comments. Here. I'm just watching No Dog in this fight, LL. I got you. Uh, yes, thank you um, for that, Kefro. You said you deserve credit for that. Absolutely. Anybody that is a creator they deserve other people don't deserve to get credit and monetize their work I, that's why i tell y'all all the time i don't respect these other black women speaking about it because they're they're not real they're disingenuous they're frauds i don't respect them i, I can't respect people like that the only other person and i do talk about this person i will be speaking about this person i cannot because i'm honest i'm an honest person i'm an intellect and again that sets me apart from all the other black women on youtube they're not honest and if they start to be honest, they're honest because Rashida Strober said you need to be honest. So in my course, I have to talk about not just Alice Walker. I have to talk about Cola Booth. I have to talk. I have to tell the truth. Cola Booth and myself 
are the two people that really matter regarding colorism and darkism. And obviously, Alice Walker. Obviously, Alice Walker. I mean, that's a that's a no brainer right there. But you guys are going to get it all in my course, Understanding Darkism. You're going to get the truth. So once again, it's going to take place on April 23rd at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Anybody anywhere in the world can take this course. That is the beauty. It is the first of its kind, another innovation, another original from the world's first and only dark skin activist, Rashida Strober. Once again, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share, and make sure you take this course, Understanding Darkism. Share this course. Everybody needs to take this course. And I am going to fight to get this course in as many places as possible so that it's, it's accessible to as many people as possible. The truth is accessible to as many people as possible. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Again, make sure you take the course Understanding Darkism on February, um, I'm sorry, April 23rd. And all of the links are provided in the description box and also in the chat to uh, this live. It is the world's first and only dark skinned activist. There's only one, Rashida Strober, the undisputed queen of dark skin. Darkskinactivist.com. Thank you guys for watching. Rashida Strober is the only person in the world to focus exclusively on dark skin and has been doing so since 1998 as demonstrated by a 20 year body of work. Meet the founder and inventor of the first movement in history for dark skin, Rashida Strober, the world's first dark skin activist, founder of dark skin activism created in 1998. She is interviewed in Harlem after her show on the dark skin activist tour. So I am here with Rashida Strober, finally getting a chance to meet her finally. face to face. Yeah. We have, she's been on my show twice. Yep. Me and Unique. Yep. Unique should be logging on soon. And you know, there were a few people that didn't get a chance to hear the interview, which they can log on and see. Who is that? See, I can't even see. Because I'm so what Heather, Heather Shack. Okay, so let me just say something about Heather really quickly. Mm -hmm. Heather enjoyed you so much the first time that you were on the show. She was actually one of the ones that was like, no, she has to come back. But thank you, Heather. And so I don't know, Heather, if you have a question, but we don't have a lot, a lot of time. Um, but if you don't have a question that you want to post, I just want to start off with a question that I've asked Rashida a million times before, which is what inspired her to do um, a dark skin woman's revenge. So in case y'all didn't hear the answer on my show, she can answer now. Yeah, um, just my life experiences of wanting to tell my truth. That's really wanting to tell my truth. In 1998, Rashida Strober created Dark Skin Activism, the first movement in history to advocate for dark skin people and called herself the Dark Skin Activist. Rashida created the phrases Dark Skin Activist and Dark Skin Activism. Rashida also coined the word darkism. She is the first person in recorded history to create a movement about dark skin. She is the first artist, author, actress, YouTuber, and social commentator to focus her work only on dark skin and has been doing so since 1998. She has written more books on dark skin than anyone in the world. Her books can be found at darkskinactivist.com. Rashida has been touring the country since 2006, giving darkism lectures and performances of her play Books include A Dark Skin Girl's Triumph, The Rashida Strober Story, Darkism, How to Be the Hottest Dark Skin Chick on the Planet, The First Motivational Book for Dark Skin Women, A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge, Token Dark Girl, The It Dark Girl of the Moment. The 20 year legacy of the dark skin activist continues. For more information on Rashida's 20 plus years as the world's first and only dark skin activist, go to darkskinactivist.com. Also, make sure you share, make sure you donate, and make sure you subscribe. 
and take the Understanding Darkism course, which tells the true history of how colorism started. It didn't start on social media. On April 23rd, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, it is an online course that anyone anywhere in the world can take. You can go to the description box in this live and you will find the link to where you can register for the course. The book Darkism is also required reading. If you make a donation of $25 or less at either my GoFundMe or at my PayPal, you will receive an electronic copy of Darkism. Thank you for watching the world's first dark skin activist, Rashida Strober, the creator, the inventor, the architect, the designer of the very first platform in history, the very first movement in history for dark skin known as dark skin activism.